the totals. 15 millimetres at Blackburn, 12 at Epping and 9 in the city. So far, Melbourne has avoided the storms, but there's likely to be rumbles of thunder tonight. Maximums have been fairly consistent, mostly 27 to 29. Slightly cooler in Fernie Creek and in Geelong, 25. The thunderstorm activity kicked off in the west of the state this morning, then picked up over the northeast ranges, but the most severe conditions have been through the southwest. An intense storm hit Warrnambool this afternoon, fast falling rain causing what was described as life threatening flash flooding as almost 50 millimetres came down in just 30 minutes. The Bureau has said the storm is a once in 50 year event. Western Victoria is still under threat with a severe thunderstorm warning currently in place. Storms could produce more heavy rainfall and large hailstones. The storm activity is being triggered by this low, low pressure trough and tomorrow that trough will head into eastern Victoria. As it moves across the state, it'll put Melbourne in the firing line, but conditions will ease through the west. Storms are expected across most of the state and could bring 15 to 30 millimetres of rain to central and eastern parts. And in the southwest, warm could get another 10. The warm and humid conditions will continue through the north with maximums in the high 20s and low 30s but a little cooler through the south. We're expecting showers to continue around Melbourne tonight then they'll ease before picking up again around dawn. So significant rain is forecast around the suburbs tomorrow with thunderstorms most likely between 2 and 6 p.m and they could bring up to 20 to 25 millimetres of rain. It won't be quite as warm as today with maximums mostly 23 to 25. The city is expected to reach 24 after an overnight low of 17 with a range of 8 to 25 millimetres of rain. More showers on Monday but lighter falls 2 to 5 millimetres and it'll be cooler 21 degrees. Showers and 21 again on Tuesday 20 degrees on Wednesday then warming up 27 on Thursday sunny skies and 29 on Friday and 31 next Saturday. But we won't see much sunshine tomorrow with heavy showers and the chance of thunderstorms. Winds will be light and after dipping to 17 degrees the city should reach 24 so it could be a bit wet and wild around Melbourne tomorrow Brett. All right thanks for that Steph and that's known